Welcome back to the Michigander and the Buckeye State Whales. Months along the Toledo Whales of special stuff. We will be taking place. This first catch is about Welch Road and Erie, Michigan, just north of Erie. This train that we're taking a look for is Island 32 with CN and Union Pacific. CN doesn't usually lead on Island 32, but I guess it did today. We were pretty lucky at this day, so we would start chasing after we get this one at Club Road. Started to pace this I-132 till the south of Monroe, just barely south of Monroe, and we barely caught him too. So this was kind of cool chase to get him from Welch Road in Erie, but I can't get the road name of this road that we're on. But it's in Monroe, Michigan. Here comes another special catch. This one is a Canadian National Manifest that's going northbound on the south shoreline, but it has an X City Well that's thrown second out of third. I was quickly getting ready to go out of town, but then I see a CN northbound coming, so I just quickly side of the road to get this northbound. It was ending up a city well, so that was pretty cool. For our next catch, I don't know what we would be catching, but it's probably something with Amtrak related, I'm not sure yet. But at this time, let's take a look west of them. Train.
And we're back! After like a few hours later catching the X City well, we're now on the Amtrak Michigan line to catch Amtrak 350. It departed um, Ann Arbor like a few minutes ago, and here we go, crossing gates are all the way down. So, that kind of means that this Amtrak is flying out of Ann Arbor to Detroit next. I can tell you right now, that Amtrak crew was very friendly to us, because he gave us a like, really good horn show. I did alright. I did too. This is the next day, it's a Sunday, and boring snow, here we go again, but this would not stop us from doing some well fanning. I got some pretty good shots of this animal that's going north, it's I-132 that's going towards Detroit with the Kansas City trailing second and the UP leading. I didn't feel like capturing this one with my camcorder. I just feel like shooting it with a phone. With my iPhone, I would say. It still gets the job done. But here we go with the Lake State departing Wallbridge for Flint, Michigan. Sucks that Ajibo is leading the 70M. I believe I seen 6431 before. But I'm not really sure because I'm just now seeing the 60Ms or 70Ms in this area.
Hey! This ain't like a main line. This is a short line. Now we're catching Ann Arbor Railroad, heading south towards Toledo. That's where it originates. It goes up towards Ann Arbor on the weekends, depending what what day they won. So today was a very lucky chance of getting one. I'm just guessing it was in um Dundee. So I may as well just go out for it and wait in the freezing weather. But shots weren't that bad with the camera. But with video, it wasn't that bad. You see that old signal? That's a pretty old signal I would see. They don't make those signals anymore.
I just thought I would get out and shoot some trains this evening. So I did, but it's very, very cold. But this southbound is an auto wag that's heading towards Cleverland, Maryland, with a Y2AC44 leading and a Giro DC throwing second.
I bet you can see by the train going by, this train had Lake State trailing SC-70F with a couple of highlights, so that was pretty cool, but the video is kind of edited, so the video was kind of dark, so I thought I would edit it a little bit. Let me know if it's good or bad, or if it's bad, my fault, I should have the setting too low. Well, so let's get this west of the train. Alright, now we're in Fall Story, Ohio. This train, it has a CP-7012, the maroon and gray. I heard about it the other night, before I cut it this morning. So, in the meanwhile, 7012 is one of the SD-70 ACUs of the maroon and gray. But, since I have not seen one in a while, I may as well go out and catch it since it's in morning hours. But this would probably be the third plane I would probably see in Fox Georgia. But this video was basically like all special catches and stuff. But yeah, if you want to see the other train, I'll make sure I'll edit a video for that one so you guys can see what I all catch.
I know it's not special, but I may as well just capture this one and put it on this video. Is this a UP Thunder Cab leading? But still, I don't get to see Thunder Cabs as UP leading and in a mortal like this. So I may as well just added it into this video. But I don't know what the actual symbol for this one is. But I'm just guessing this is just a random intermodal that's going east towards Pennsylvania or Buffalo or New York. So, let's just get the west of this intermodal. Our next train is a CN northbound with a CN 100 sticker, but it's just like that. CN has a lot of CN 100 stickers on their Jeevos. But since I was in the area and I was waiting for a train in Monroe to get this shot of the bridge, so I may as well just stick around and like wait for it. But I didn't know it would have like a CN100 with it, so that was pretty cool. I was actually pretty lucky.
Alright, the catch that you guys have been waiting for. Well, it's not the end of the video yet, but I may as well just say it anyway. This is CSX 911 leading M214 from Wayne, Michigan to all the way down to Cleveland, in Maryland. But since I have not seen 911 lead in a long time, I may as well get it and capture it and since I was in the area as well. I was gonna help with my dad doing some farming, whatever, and I heard about 9-11 coming. So I went down the car to Michigan to capture 9-11. You know what really was cool for this catch? And Heritage 2, Jivo for BSF, leading with an Heritage 1, trailing second. I'm guessing this is 265 from Columbus to Chicago, Illinois. Those two units will be going back for BSF. 
where it, or where it originally out of. Here we go, I got out 20 minutes early from school to get this train. I have not seen this one in a long time. It's the Weeding Heritage Unit. But, is it the Weeding Heritage Unit? Yes it is. Why may I ask? Because it was recently repainted into the Weeding Paint Scheme. Since then, I have not seen it in probably like a long time, so I may as well capture this one and get it leading while I could before it goes back to trailing. PTC was going cuckoo on that unit, so it was cool to get it. Plus, it was a friendly crew. made it 20 seconds to spare there goes my friend being in the background of this video I chased it from Mulberry was the whole train at Mulberry to figures junction which is Northwood Ohio 20 seconds to spare that's not normal sometimes I don't used to chase animals from Mulberry to Northwood but it was kind of going a little slow and then speed up again. So, yeah. Fortunately, it did not get us a horn show. But it was cool to see it again since I chased it from Newberry to Northwood.
this was kind of cool catch. This will be the last train of this video. It has an H2 Max 12 seconds after the day. I literally caught an H2 Gevo on 265. But this one is 880 or 882. Sound for Monroe, Michigan. With BNSS power. So that was kind of cool. Plus it entertains from BNSS to NS. And it stops usually in one, depending on the thing you need to. But for cruise wise, I would say yes. But they usually slot the power there at one, and then they take the NS power on a cold train that the BNSF took, and then take it up to Monroe. But I don't know if that happens often. But I always see BSF on these full things. Well, this is the ending of this video. Fortunately, today's video will be ending off here. Thanks for watching. I'll be either seeing you in the Michigan State or the Buckeye State Well, wherever I decided to go well setting too.